Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am going to show you about the anchorage and anchor winch, auto tension, how it's working and how to repair and troubleshooting. So this is the anchor windlass which is auto tension is the working mare function. So I'm, go I'm going to show you what I'm doing here and how to find out the fault. So you can see that alarm is indication disturbance is there. That's why it's auto tension fault is there alarm disturbance disactivation indication. Well, this is the winch W1. So I switch it up again and switch up the control. So now I start checking this as part of the diagram. Actually, what is the port? And it's all relays. Is for the K5, K6, and K7. Just related is the auto tension. Auto tension is the when is vessel alongside in birth, uh, birth. Then winch is keeping auto tension, so no need to go and you watch keeping there automatically. If it, if it is loose and slack, and if it is slack and automatically tighten, that is the auto tension working. It's the latest windlass, electrical windlass. So this is all cable connections. I will already checked. So I am going to open the control lever, which is nearby the winch. So this is the controller and open now this website. This is the switch which is the for auto tension. So I'm going to check this one. Sometimes uh, these switches are also is Getting defect uh, because of this moisture. So switches look like it's okay. I'm going to manually but cam choice. Actually, this uh, winch is the BSD controller. BSD is means variable speed driver. That is uh, not very online by contractor. This is a BSD controller. The motor is controlling by BSD controller. Uh, this is the BSD controller. It's all connections, sequence. The 
is all the breakers and this controller pins control actually some connections are not as for the diagrams so you have to take out this all cable connection one by one This is for the encoder which is connected back set of the motor. This is the actually my findings of this encoder resistance. I am going to open this motor terminal because inside this motor terminal office encoder cable connection also there uh, this is the motor back side actually it's a rust a long time is not opening so much paint and rust we have to clean i am going to take out this cover also inside this magnetic brake and encoder which is fixing this is the cover which is already take out now. Yeah, this is the magnetic brake and this this is the encoder. Encoder is actually giving the direction and this percentage of this motor speed and load. As Actually, we have found this encoder is defective because it's the whatever direction is run and is showing this always is angus position and if it is then neutral position also is showing this some indications so it's that's why it's giving this disturbance along. Yeah, now it's already installed it, we fix it back the all items, everything. So you don't have a spare parts for the this encoder. Now is everything fix it back, which is ready for using manually. Now is departure time. Dark boot is coming to pull out from the butt. So now we are going to departure. Station is going on. Remove all spring line, red lines. Lesson, so, lesson coming. Uh, actually, this winch is manual. He can use. Only problem is auto tension is not working. So I already found this problem. This encoder is the faulty. So already made. Requisition for the peppers and also is uh, have some issue with this BSD controller, which is connect. This encoder is connected to the direct to the BSD controller actually. They also have some problem it's compared with the other which is working. And as for the diagram also, and uh, make our instruction so totally checking and this found the actually encoder and the this BSD controller is some issue so we already made the position so now we are going to give up this all rope departure so which is working manually only is W1 and W2 
this ship have total seven wings so four seven wings to windlass w1 w2 is actually windlass and wings dual so now we are pulling out all the ropes secure going to departure so thank you guys thank you for watching my video always and for your supporting thank you very much